Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to my Thursday night live stream of Medieval Dynasty, where of course today we are continuing with our adventures in Oxbow, and for the last episode, I did successfully, uh, you know, between episodes, off camera, oh boy, unlock the last building that I did want to unlock so that we could construct it before moving onward, and so yeah, we're just gonna be, uh, finishing things up, doing a few last uh, things with our village, and moving into a new season, and hopefully then... All will be well with our time in the Oxbow map. I have very much enjoyed it, but there have, I has, have definitely been some things with this particular one. But yeah, I'm looking forward to ending this little series up here today. Our third Medieval Dynasty series. <laughs> so we can move on to something else in the next stream. But oh dear god, it just... Uh, so, of course, the last building we had to do was the uh, Tier 2 Fishing Shack, and uh, that's, of course, Survival. And, well, to level that one up, oh, boy. I spent just some time mindlessly while having other things going on on my second monitor, just collecting reeds. I think I collected most of the reeds in the entirety of Oxbow. <laughs> That's a massive exaggeration, considering I think we probably con uh, collected all the reeds between our village and Piastovia. Uh, beyond that, there's still plenty of reeds left in the world. But nonetheless, after collecting all those things, we did successfully uh, unlock the next building we needed, uh, which we will be constructing here today to get things rolling. We are still in springtime. Uh, oh, hello, child. And... Oh, boy. Okay, hold on, horse. So, off camera, the only other thing besides just collecting, again, all the reeds between here and, uh, and Piastovia, I did actually go ahead and construct the windmill over here in the back area. I decided to make it in line with the road, which I gotta admit, I'm a little bit saddened by. I actually would have preferred... The windmill pointing the other direction, but we have no choice with these stairs. <laughs> hey, we would have ended up having the stairs being, you know, on the opposite side of the building over here, and, um, well, it would have been back this way. So you'd have to have your road going around the building, which is a little bit unfortunate. I really, really would have preferred our, uh,. Our windmill here to be facing that direction, but oh well, we have constructed it in this corner of the village and we now have the ability to do what we need to do with the millstone here. Good times indeed. Uh, yeah, I just wish, I just wish I would have been able to have the stairs going the opposite direction. Oh well, what are you gonna do? But yeah, other than that, yeah, all those reeds gone through here. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go ahead and uh, before we just go ahead and um, change into the summer season because I figure what the heck we'll build uh, for our last episode here we'll build the tier 2 of the fishing shack the last building we need and then uh, go into the summer to see how screwed we are with all the pregnancies <laughs> And one final check to see if there are any missions. I sincerely doubt there will be, but, um, who knows? And, yeah, then we'll roll from there. And let's see, over in the comments, should have collected berries, then made all the wine for the Temple of the Rock. <laughs> it, the problem is, we're in spring. The berries aren't ripe yet. R berries aren't ripe till summer. So, uh, that wouldn't have helped us. That wouldn't have helped us in the slightest. Uh, in Galadus, after de-reading, we must deforest the map. <laughs> oh, dear God, that would take so much time to chop down all the trees in this world. My God. Be kind of in impressive, though. <laughs> Sci-fi, tear down the whole village and redevelop. No, I quite like my village. I'm not going to redevelop it. I like what we've created here. Even if it isn't exactly what I was hoping for, but, you know, 
Wait, hold on. I actually got to do the thing over here first before we uh, get the materials we need. So, let us upgrade. You know, this little tiny island here looks a lot more bare and depressing now that I have taken all the reeds here. <laughs> looks a lot better when all the reeds are uh, <laughs> just nice and full and making it look like a nice little uh, marsh. Now it's just kind of sad. Oh, well. Okay, let's see. What do I need? Survival. Fishing hut. Yeah. All right, well, we've got a few logs on us from these things. What else do we need? All right, so we're going to need a fair number of logs. These were three different ceiling bits, weren't they? So 6, 12, 18, so we're going to need, oh boy, 36 planks. And a crap load of logs. Good, 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 good. Well, thankfully, we have storage right here, so that's not going to be a problem for us in the slightest. Alright. And scroll on down. You know what? Let's make sure. I hit tab. Dang it me. Dang it me. <laughs> My data escape just to cancel from that thing. Okay, let's grab the, the planks first. Get exactly what we need here. And then as many logs as we can carry. Boy, we're already... Let's see how 30 gets us. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Slowly but surely make our way back over. Excellent, excellent. With the one singular wall we built. <clears throat> okay. Take a breather. Oh god, I'm also very hungry. I should get some food. <laughs> Ah, we'll do that after we finish building this thing. There we go. In sci-fi, there's a wonky road and windmill is iffy. I mean, yeah, it didn't end up being a little bit iffy, but oh well. Even though I'm not entirely happy with it, I'm uh, happy enough. <laughs> it's not like we haven't had wonky roads to begin with here. I mean, I did mention last episode about the, the road I went through the, uh, had to go through the hops area. <laughs> I had to kind of jauntily go over to the side to get around that one building. But we're good, we're good, we're good. Alright. Galdus Baron of Depressing is on par with medieval life. You know, that is a wild misconception. Sure, not everything was happy in the medieval world, but it wasn't that bad. There we go. That. And you. Alright, how many logs am I short? Three. You know, I was close. I was close! In sci fi, you did it knowing. Wait, hold on. Yeah, three. You did it knowing that. Uh, NPCs have issues with strafe walking. They can levitate, but sideways. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, we do have a lot of levitating people in this world, which is unnerving still. But oh well. Oop! God, walked right into that post. Wait, wait. Get some food. Oh man, we got a lot of milk. Nice. I can make more cheese. All right, let's have a pottage. One of the older pottages. And boop. All right, put away that. Put away the ball. Put away the ball. So what to say? How in the hell did I get sticks and straw? Ah, yes. When we deconstruct the building, why do I never remember <laughs> that we get half our crap back when we destroy a building? Oh, for some reason my brain never remembers that. Oh well, what are you gonna do? All right, last three of you. Boom! Fishing Hut 2 is finished, and we have now built well, at least one of every building in the game. My usual goal. Okay, well, let us... Hunting. Get the person back. 
Oh, where are you? There you are, Grimilda. Only a three? You know, that shouldn't be too surprising considering how poorly the people in the hunting shack have actually been leveling up after all this time. I mean, some of these people have been in there since the very beginning, and the top one we have is six. Whereas so many of our others have become tens. If I'm remembering correctly, isn't even our well guy... Our well guy's nine. Our well guy is learning more <laughs> than our huntresses who have been doing this since the beginning. And this guy I brought in like halfway through. We used to have a different person in the water carrier, but then they got pregnant. <laughs> Why? Why are some of these buildings so awful at actually training up people? Uh... Oh well, what are you gonna do? You got it because you're a damn fool. <laughs> you know you're not wrong. <laughs> Sci-fi hunters level pregnancy as priority. <laughs> we have had a number of them get pregnant, which is unfortunate. Beastie Bunny, it's the wine and herbs from the herbalist. It slows them down. You know, fair. I always knew that herbalist was causing troubles. Oh, God. Also, yeah. You know what? I've had that extra person in the farm shed. I'll leave them there. We're about to go into a new season, so, um... Oh, well. <laughs> Alright, well, there we go. We've got... Our lovely new building. Yay! All right, so tech-wise, that does now mean... Yep, we're good. Yep, we're good. Yep, we're good. And yep, we're good. Magnificent. Actually, hold on. Go back here. Was there anything fun to unlock? No, there was not. What about with you? Oh! <gasps> Okay, okay, okay. I need to go place down a bare rug in my home. <laughs> and we have Winston Skulls. We have multiple Winston Skulls. Let us go place one on the wall instead of the uh, Moose Skull I think we currently have. Clearly we need to put the Winston Skull up instead. Heck yeah. Alright. Sci-Fi, you've not built a city encompassing palisade yet. We've already talked about that. I was planning to, but because I built near the cliffs, it's kind of ugly to do so because there's really no way, no way to get flush with the cliffs. <laughs> so uh, instead, we're just a we're an exposed village. All right, let's see. Yeah, Vincent, there we go. Huh. Honestly, the moose one will actually be the most impressive. But I don't got a moose skull. Oh well, Winston. Alright, also, let's see. Do I have... Oh boy. The scattering of things. Which... Alright, that's you. That's you. That's you. Of course, the last one I select... Okay, I need 15 furs to put a, a bear rug in the center of my home. <laughs> to furs! And... Oh, all right. Sci-fi cutting all trees down doesn't seem so mad now. I mean, if we were to build the palisade, not so much. Granted, we wouldn't need that anyways. We've got plenty, plenty of logs. How many do I need? 15? I think it was 15. Here we go. Galdas, gotta make room for the concrete to grow someday. <laughs> Once of the murder cows before they all got pacified. Nice, nice. Alright, so it was you, and yeah. Really? That doesn't look very... bare ruggish to me. <laughs> That looks like a... Huh. I mean, this one, clearly, badger. A badger that has been skinned. This looks like a, a fur that's gone wrong. Nothing here screams bear. It just screams large amount of fur. 
Which, I mean, I guess, bear, sure. But... <laughs> Sci-fi, the badger rugs seem to be worshipping the bear rug. Oh my god, they are all pointing towards it, aren't they? That's hilarious and disturbing. And yeah, Galatus, that's exactly what it is. There's no head on the bear rug. So, I mean, I assume it should be here. But because of that, it's just... It's just weird. Oh, well, let's change seasons and see how screwed we are. <laughs> uh, we've built all the things we need. So let us... Pinnacle screams Ikea bear. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, God. One, two, three, four, five, six... Oh, Jesus, I have no idea if anyone... Oh, boy. Again, like I said last time, I really wish there was more info on who's pregnant and with what. I have no idea if any of these are new pregnancies or if they're old pregnancies. Oh, we actually did get a mother back in. I Yeah, because she's free and not with a profession and currently sad about not having a profession. My god, that means one of our children has aged. Look at that. Lubomira has grown. Not bad, Lubomira, with that five on that one. Alright, so the person who seems to be free now, now that they're no longer a mother, I mean, well, <laughs> no longer actively having to take care of a baby. They are, of course, still a mother. Uh, they are best at extraction. Boy. Hmm. We lost another hunter. Yep, one of the pregnancies. One of the women has become pregnant. Well, has had their kid. Oh, boy. <laughs> so even less meat now. Even less meat. All right, now these all seem fine and normal. So we've definitely had one woman give birth. And our hen house lady. Oh, I thought you were coming around to popping out that kid. Ah, oh, dang. All right. Oh, holy crap. And a kitchen person too? Oh, damn. Huh. Alright, so we've had at least two people give birth. God, maybe a third. Wait, actually, hold on. You know, I should have paid a little bit more attention to the population that we had at the beginning of the episode. That would have helped me a lot here, wouldn't it? And J to the mind with Dobramila. Yeah, probably. I mean, for sure. But, um... What were we at? <laughs> okay, we've definitely lost a kitchen person and a hen house person. Which means the person who's pregnant with the uh, stalls isn't going to have the kid until next season. So yeah, I think those are the two. I don't remember if I had another person in the excavation shed. But, considering the mining necessity for this one, I think probably best to put in Dobramila. Get back to work, my dear. There you go. Wonderful. Now we got copper, stone, clay, limestone. Oh, yeah, I was going to also limestone my house, maybe. Possibly. Oh, god damn, yeah, we lost a couple. Oh, yeah, and a Huntress. Thank you for the reminder. And Captain Mooncake just raided with a party of five. Oh, hello. Hope you enjoy the last of our uh, Medieval Dynasty streams. <laughs> all right, all right. Even though, again, this is the last episode, I still just out of um, habit must reset all these things. <laughs> it must be done. All the fields become cabbage. There we go. Granted, without the with the much lower level of production of meat, that's gonna be, you know, 
not as useful, but oh well. Let's get you. Cabbage. Oh yeah, all of them cabbages. Oh crap, I went too far. <laughs> Hit another button. Uh, all right, you're gonna be good too. So cabbage, of course. And... And you... Our tiny little mini field. Magnificent. How are you all doing? Yep, still not grown yet. Wait, hold on. Never mind. Ready to harvest. <laughs> I was forgetting what colors meant what. Never mind. Our apple orchard, and should mean also our pear orchard. Magnificent. Finally bore fruit. Our hops are still growing. <sighs> and sci-fi DM collecting straw if you grabbed it all off cam. Nah, I sold all that. Since I was making my way towards Piastovia, I immediately sold all that. So <laughs> oh, good times. Alright, well. Let's take a look at the map here. Yep, we definitely finished all the main missions. Dang. Well, we got two, or nope, three missions here in the village. Might as well go grab those. Oh, and look at our lovely little town we have. It's just glorious. All right, let's go talk to people and get things rolling. All right, we got two over here. Might as well go grab them. What do we got? Yo, Leopolda. Wait, hold on. No, 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 Leopolda. Nope, that was someone else. Everyone's running into poor Leopolda Hello here. There. Hey, can I help you? Well, I may have one request, but you uh, don't you think it's quite dark at night? Oh, she wants I me to build a torch. Maybe not <sighs> yeah, what's your request? Yeah, a couple standing torches. Are you afraid of the dark? No. Doesn't sound very convincing. Well, maybe a little bit. I knew it! Have a good day. Alright, next one. Grow. Grodzislava? Is that right? Sounds right. Oh, it's you again. Hey, you need something? something Help me kill Stefan. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, thank God. Something new and interesting and different. Uh, hi. Yeah, what? Who's Stefan? That's the mold on my... Never mind. Not as interesting. <laughs> Did you call the mold on your wall, Stefan? I'm not even going to ask how you know it's gender. Yes, I did. What a pity. I've always dreamed of becoming a murderer's accomplice. Oh, come on. We've murdered plenty of people. Maybe this mold is giving off some toxic fumes that mess with your mind. So you first give something a name and then want to kill it? I wouldn't like to be your child. <laughs> yeah, we're going to go with that one. I don't care what you think of me. The thing is, Stefan keeps getting bigger and bigger and soon he will cover everything. Now, so I'm King Stefan the Green Conqueror is an expansionist? Oh yeah, wonderful. Sometimes Stop making fun of me! I've heard that there is a mixture that can help fight it off. If you consider me worthy of killing Stefan, I'll so do what has to be done. I'll bring you the mixture. Thank you. Trails? Don't fret. Good luck. Sweet. Uh, you know, I was hoping for something a little bit more murdery, but... Oh well, what are you gonna do? <laughs> And Beastie Bunny, now that, oh yeah, more plum wine debates. Oh, we do have the plums now, yeah. Uh, okay, did I pass them? Oh, no, they're over here, over here, over here. In this home? Aha, with child! Dobrivoja! Oh, it's you again. Yeah, uh-huh, you got something for me? Oh, I've got a problem. I have a niece, you know, and I wanted to give her a gift. Oh, we've had this quest too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She started collecting animal figures. Yeah, yeah, we... Why don't you ask her? Yeah, yeah, we've done this before. Yeah, okay. Uh, a badger, you say? Cool. Wooden badger Good figure. Luck. Got it. <laughs> so, two quests that we've definitely had before. And one... Poor Stefan. <laughs> what, what do we got here? So, build a standing torch. Meh. Oh, just a poison. 
We don't even have to get anything special for Gratislava there for killing Stefan. We just need generic poison. Weird. And the other one, a wooden badger figure. All right, let's go buy the wooden badger figurine. Now we are in a lovely summer. Yay. Which hopefully I shouldn't get as hot this season because when we were uh, collecting all the reeds to try and level up our uh, survival tech here, I actually did get several level ups in survival. And I put them into uh, less damage, more health, and into more temperature tolerance. So uh, hopefully we're good on that. We don't have to worry about anything of that variety today. Wonderful. Gala, she's been snorting moderately annoying nightshade. <laughs> Sci-fi, Stefan's in repair with the repair bloke. That reminds me. I didn't see anything that needed repair. That poor hen house, yeah. ends. <laughs> Yeah, oh man, I'm actually genuinely surprised we haven't had any repair statuses pop. I mean, a lot of these, shouldn't it by now? Shouldn't it have given us something by now once it reached down to the 70%? Seriously, our dude who's in the builder's hut has like the easiest job. <laughs> he's he's going to forever be perpetually at three because... Yeah. Um, he never does anything to actually level up his work. Oh well. Oh well. Let's go to town and buy a badger figurine. And away we go! Ninja Cross, please do more videos on the Fall TV series. Found it entertaining and interesting. I plan on watching the entire series tonight. Keep the videos coming. Well, uh, I assume then you watched my first impressions that released like an hour ago. Excellent. Hope you, I, hopefully you enjoyed it. And I may. It all depends. It all depends. Like I said in the video, though, just because of my lack of free time, it's probably going to take me weeks to actually watch the full eight episodes. I would love, love to binge the whole thing. It's only eight episodes, but I don't got that sort of time. Oh, but episode one was amazing. You know, I, 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 um, we did a lot in town, kind of buying time, and really, still isn't enough time for the dude to show up in his shop. All right, I'll take over for him until then. Come and buy my wares. That's a nice knife, actually, right there. <laughs> There he is. Yo, dude. How do you do? Hey, I need a badger figurine? It's a badger figurine, right? I don't see a B. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait. Can I? Wait. Good luck. Wait. Wait. It was a badger, right? <laughs> Wooden badger figurine. Oh, it's you again. Uh huh. Sort by price, I guess? Ah! It starts with wooden. W. I was looking, I was hoping it would start with B for badger. Alright, there we go. You know, I do gotta get my wife something too. You know, let's get her a lovely necklace. Get some for a kid too. What can we get her kid? <laughs> what would he like? We already gave him a sword. A wooden sword. I don't think he'd care for anything of, of these. You'll get him a utility belt. <laughs> no. You know, our wife would love this, but that can only be apparently given to a man. <laughs> hmm. You know, I'm just going to buy our kid an extra figurine. <laughs> we'll get him a wolf one. Yeah, sure. There we go. All right. Only the best. See you soon. Do I need to buy anything? No, no, we didn't need to buy anything else here. All right. 
Binacle, you had at least one building break every season. I was robbed. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't had, we've had one, one singular building that needed repairs since we started, Get up. which I'm genuinely impressed by because I remember back in the valley, we had a lot more to fix. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on with that, but oh well. God, has you been moderately impressed so far? I assume you meant with the Fallout series. Why only moderate, though? Why only moderate? Oh, and Jacross, have they already said there's going to be a second season? Neat. I hadn't heard anything about confirming that or not. But nifty. Alright. And... Sci-fi 100% iron cudgel for kid. <laughs> why did I come in here? Why did I stop here? What? What? Why? Why did I come to the storehouse? I have no idea. And Jacross, too bad Halo could not be this good. Oh my god, yeah, they really screwed the pooch on the Halo series. Ugh. <laughs> really messed up that one. What did I come in here for? Oh, I remember. I remember. I was going to grab the things for the standing torch. What all materials did I need for a standing torch? One stick, one linen fabric, three stone, and one linen thread. Alright, alright. One stick. Oh god, we gotta get... Okay, one, one linen fabric, one linen thread. One stick and three stone? Alright. Hey. Well, Rand, you know, uh, I actually think I know where I want to build this. Uh, not in here. Outside, over at the, uh, at this wood cutting area. I have a little torch, like, right here. I'll actually keep you for a change. I normally don't like the, uh, wooden torches because, ew, but, you know, rustic wooden torch out here. All right, what was the last thing we needed to do? Uh, oh yeah, poison, poison. We got poison. We've got poison. All right. In sci-fi, there's been no season events or King Harold's either. I know, right? It's just weird. What? No, no, wrong container. Over here. Poison. Boom. All right. All right turning you first and Galadus moderate is high praise from you they've uh, taken a few creative liberties I can't ignore but overall good stuff interesting interesting they behind here oh, other side other side yeah distance ah they're in here got it Hello, Leopolda. How's life treating you? Hey, uh, are there enough torches now? Oh yes, it's much better. All those shadows dancing in the flickering light can give me the creeps. Shadows can also be quite cute. Shadow bunnies, for example. You know, yeah. Take care. Sweet. All right, now we got the wooden badger figure over here. You inside? Ah, yes, taking care of your child. Hello, Dobro, Dobro Woja. How is life treating you? I've got a gift for your niece. A badger? Yes, a badger. That's wonderful. Now I've got them all. Yes, yes, I I forgot about this quest. It's them that wants the badger. Yeah, whatever suits you. Your secret's safe with me. Good luck. Have you ever done any quests? All right, and one more over here. <laughs> Across, imagine if they did an Elder Scrolls, uh, Elder Scrolls show. Yeah, it would be pretty sweet. All right, yo. How can I help you? Yeah, I brought the anti stefan mixture. That's great. I think he got bigger while you were gone. So how are you going to call this? How are you going to call this mixture? I'm sure Stefan Slayer deserves a name. <laughs> Please stop. You are the one who started it all. Have a nice day. Sweet. All right, all done. Child? 
Wait, there are two children here! Uh, must be the other child. They're playing together. You are not my child. Go away. My, my, my glorious, noble child shall not be, uh, sullied by the peasantry. <laughs> Yo, Roche. Uh, I got some for you. Here, I have that wolf figure. Cool. Oh, hey. His affection is three now. The first bit of affection my child has shown to me is when I gave him a gift. Cool. Bye bye <laughs> Yeah, that's right. You walk away, kid. You walk away. Sci-fi, your child is taunting the peasant by flaunting his toys. <laughs> And also, Galdus, I didn't see that comment before. Stefan's Bane. <laughs> Love it. Hi, wife. How you doing? You don't seem to actually be hunt hunting in here. Hey, Mr. Husband Man. Uh, hi, yeah. Uh, romance. <sighs> Got a little I'm... something for you. Here, have an amber necklace. So glad I settled down. There we go. Our affection is up, even though. Have a good day. Our affection cannot go any higher. You know, I kind of am actually annoyed that my child only has an affection of 3% for me now. What the hell, kid? <laughs> How does my child not care for me? Huh. Huh. That's actually a little annoying. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Let's go whitewash our house. Uh, I need hammer. People often ask me how it is. Crap, how many do we need? We figured this out last time and I don't remember. Oh boy. Alright, so six. Six, twelve, eighteen. Oh, a lot. <laughs> Thirty six. No, sci-fi wasn't that much. It wasn't 80. <laughs> Do we even have enough limestone, though, from waiting last from last season? Oh, hey, we probably do. Just trying to remember what I literally just counted. Uh, and 36... 40, I think we only need, like, 50, right? Ish? We'll see. Alright, even though I've never really cared much for the, uh, for this, let's see how, how happy it makes my wife and child. The kid's at 72, and the wife's at 77. Si d d no, wrong, th wrong things entirely. There we go. Ew. <laughs> Yeah, I never, I never liked the insulation upgrades in this game. Both the daub and also the limestone always make me just kind of go, Ew. But, you know, it insulates it and makes the people happier, so let's do it. And see if their happiness increases. <laughs> Galatas, watch her leave you after seeing this. Oh, like my wife would go anywhere else. I keep her supplied with booze. <laughs> yeah, I keep everyone in my town supplied with booze. We've been quite a good deal of mean. Wow, I really didn't grab enough, did I? Wow, damn. How did I miscount that badly? <laughs> Six, twelve, eighteen. And third. Oh. Oh, I realize how I miscounted now. <laughs> I only counted the two walls. I, I went a 6, 12, 18. Oh, and then that wall would make 36. And then that plus that would equal 50. Oh, I forgot about those two walls. <laughs> oh, God, we did need like 80 something. Oh boy. Alright, let's just grab the rest of the limestone. Okay, there we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 
All right, back we go. And insulate you and you once I stop trying to catch my breath. There we are. <laughs> Sci-fi, Kodobos is so rich he coats his house with white powder. I mean, heck yeah. I was not paying attention to where I was hitting. Alright, there we go. And... Crap, yeah, we don't got enough. <laughs> We've got enough limestone to finish the place. I mean, we got all the main walls, but... um. We won't, apparently we won't be uh, insulating the the top bits. We need 12 more and I have five. <laughs> well, that's one project that's not getting finished up before the end of the stream. Sweet. Aw, <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. Well, how's the place look with only half of it, <laughs> half of it done? Even worse. Ugh. Yeah, I just prefer the stone, man. Stone's nice. That's just weird. Oh well, how's the wife and kid think of it? Uh, kids is going up. He has an up arrow. What about the wife? It was lower before. It was at 70 something, wasn't it? Now it's at 84. Was it? I don't remember now. But she doesn't seem to be going up any further. But okay. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Well. And Beastie Bunny Kid was 72. Wife was 77. Thank you. So yeah, they definitely both are improving and have improved. Wife especially. I'm surprised she's already done with her happiness, but the kid isn't. Weird. But, oh well. They're happy. For some reason, with this monstrosity. <laughs> Alright. And Sci-Fi, the kid has seen it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you good with all this? Holy crap, look at all the honeycomb. <laughs> I knew we were making not enough mead to keep up with our honey supply. But, um... Damn. Damn. <laughs> I mean... God, if we try to take it all, we'd be over-encumbered. I, I know we're selling it, but clearly nowhere near enough. Granted, like I, uh, we mentioned last time, the food stall is the only one that's at 100%. Oh, we aren't actually selling any of it. What? Huh. Well, you know what we're going to do? What we are going to do is grab a crap load of honey, go and sell it all. And let's do like 800 honey. Yeah, that, that sounds good. Sweet. I'm over encumbered, but when is that not the case? Oh, our horse is all the way over there. Not for long. Oh, crap, where did he go? Horse, where are you? <laughs> awesome for a brief moment. Let's go sell this. And... Beastie Bunny, you should turn on Quick Craft, make it all, and sell it good money. I mean, but then we'd need the crap load of buckets, too, and all the mead, ba our mead uh, bottles. It's just... Nah, we're good. We're good. <laughs> we already make plenty of money. In fact, I really should have checked before we left uh, how much money is in the storage. Because what I actually want to do is just take a quick little jaunt into the woods, and God, this is all still here. That's three seasons now. To just try and find some bandits to kill real quick to finish up the season. You know? <laughs> well, I'll finish up the series rather than the season. I do like shooting bandits. 
It is amusing. All right. Let's go make our money back from this dude and then some. Hello Yo. How would you like a crap load of honey? For 1,967. Sweet, I took all of his cash and he didn't have enough to pay me for everything. Sweet. Oh boy, you can only buy 157 honey. Who's next? All right, now you can buy 208 honey. Wonderful. Hello. And you. Sweet, the remainder. Beautiful. Beautiful. You see you around. God, yeah, and we still even have more honey. My God, we just the honey alone is worth a lot of money. <laughs> oh. Hmm. And Jay, we need a Skyrim giant to send Kotobos to space. I mean, fair, but wrong game. And Jay, real world whitewash building looks so much better. Agreed, agreed. But yeah, in game, it just looks awkward. With the stone, and same with the daub. They just all look weird in this one. Alright, there's a quick jaunt out. Let's not, we won't spend too much time out here looking for some bandits. But it would be good to check briefly. Just to see if we can get one more uh, bandit camp slaughtered before ending things. Then head back to town, collect the remainder of the money from our, uh, our storage. And then end things for this season of Medieval Dynasty. What I'll play next, who knows. All right, and then sharp turn here. We went that way last time, which granted was a different season, but nonetheless. Let's see where this goes. And what do we may get? Oh. You know, we have been attacked in the swamp before, but over in the other road that away. Hmm. We'll go back that direction later, I think. Yeah, down that road. So yeah, I don't think we're gonna get anyone here because we're in the uh, like no build zone now. Yeah. So let us head on through here. And yeah, no, there was nothing here. All right, turn around. On the word. Go down this road. <laughs> Beastie Bunny, nice season wrap up murder. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Why not? You know, it's always good to thin the bandit population. Oh, that's a thing. Oh, God, there they are. <laughs> I was trying to figure out where they were because uh, there's too many trees here. Okay, okay. We also are going to get shot at by another archer. Oh, God, it's another uh, roadblock. All right. And... Howdy oh, he turned right as I shot. How dare you? <laughs> Damn it. All right, there was an archer over that way. Oh, oh, that came from that direction. <laughs> what? Oh, God. Okay, I'm getting shot from another way now. Which is not great. Well, oh, all right. Kill that man. There we go. He's down. All right, well. Hmm. We'll take this for some healing over time. Wait, nope, I was in the middle of looting, so we can't, we can't. <laughs> we just put a potion on his body. I was trying to get some, uh, you know, healing over time going. 
All right, so we had someone over here. Oh, yep, yeah, I'm getting shot from this direction. Well, hey! Whoop. Get him. <laughs> All right, and there was, I think, one more? Take his cudgel. Who else? Oh, there they are! Another crossbowman! Ow. Ow. Oh, god damn, where are they? <laughs> exactly, I've, I've lost exactly where they were now. Frying from. Okay, instant healing. You know, just charge. Just charge. Just charge. And... <laughs> there we go. They're dead. <laughs> okay, well, there we go, lovely. We have the happy music now. So that's good. <laughs> Got some hop seedlings there. Lovely. Excellent. They've all died and all been looted. Magnificent. <laughs> oh, ow. All right, let's get back on the horse and go home. The perfect group of to murder. And Beastie Bunny splatting. Splatting would be a nice cherry on top. I had to think about that for a second. What the hell do you mean by spl oh <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Alright, let's go home. Uh... Alright, I was two crossbowmen though. Interesting. Those definitely hurt. Quite a bit. Galdasus was sufficiently bloody. I'm glad you approve. I mean, I should probably stop in here real quick. I know there's really no point to it, but I'm an experienced traveler. Oh, you are both actually I only pretty great. You two, hi. It's you again. Here, you can you can fill in my last oh, house. It's you again. There we go. <laughs> you two can uh, fill in my last house. House number 25. There we go. Nope, nope, that's... Why, why are the children included in the housing thing? Why are the children included in the housing thing? <laughs> oh, I'm going to scroll all the way through all the kids. I mean, I get it. When they get older, we can move them into other houses to have their own families and all, but goddamn. <laughs> All right, wait, hold on. I also think that woman was named Uniswala. I think that's another. We have a we have a duplicate now. I think. Oh no, we don't. I'll be darned. Look at that. All right, well, you, madam, you have hunting skills, so you shall become a huntress. Congratulations. And you, sir, have cooking skills. You shall become a new cook. Magnificent. To the kitchen with you. Oh, God, the other, the other cook was pregnant, too? <laughs> oh, we already lost one cook this season to pregnancy, and the other cook is also pregnant. Oh, my God. I swear to God, the pregnancy system in this game is just so annoying. Let me control who is allowed to have children. Uh, seriously, if I ever play this game again, I should literally just put everyone into individual Let's single go. homes. <laughs> no one get, no one gets married but me. There's just so many pregnancies. My God. We definitely don't have enough children to, you know, fill, you know, to. Uh... Where was I going with that? <laughs> We definitely don't have enough homes to house all the children when they grow up. There's where I was trying to go. Oh, boy. All right. Well, let's go. Ninja Cross. There's a Fallout 4 update right after Fallout London is released. Oh, yeah. Aren't they doing, like, a next-gen update? Which, bleh, bleh, who cares about that? Never cared for next-gen updates. 
You usually just make things work worse. <laughs> all right, let's go check all the money we got. Yeah, we got we got a full village now. Magnificent. Oh yeah, nice. Oh, just shy of okay. You know what? You know what? we have to we have to go into a little bit of another day. I want to pass a hundred thousand. We can go sell honey. <laughs> Wait, hold on. How many? How many? How much do we have? Never mind. We'd have to go to multiple villages to sell everything. I don't care anymore. <laughs> Oh well. Oh well. At the very least, do our minor chores of throwing these uh, vegetables into compost. Nice, nice, nice. And then you over here in this one with the onions. And sure, the roasted meat too. I'll eat the cherry, because, you know, cherries are delicious. Up staring at the fertility rock. We have too many children as it is, you two. <laughs> oh god, that looks even more hideous from a distance. <laughs> uh, okay, you go there. I do have that clay cup in my inventory. I don't know I don't remember where I got that, but let's let's add it to the shelf. And drop. Howdy up. Okay, okay. The ah, crap, I grabbed it. <laughs> All right, there we go. There we go. Do it again. Do it again. There, lovely. That's a much smaller cup than the wooden cup I have over there. Weird. You know, Galdus, I will give it that. It does definitely make the interior look much brighter. I will definitely give you that. I still think it's ugly, but it does make it look a lot more brighter in here. Neat. <laughs> Alright, well. Chug down some berry juice and then some apple wine. Heck yeah, there we go. And go join uh, join my wife over in the tavern. Of course, my wife is in the tavern. <laughs> She's over here chatting with the chatting with the village folk. I'll join. I apparently oh no, I have to hold. I was trying to just press. There we go. So uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for our uh, medieval dynasty oxbow series. Then a perfect place to end it. We've done quite well. We've built a thriving village here. We've got, well, actually, we're technically a city, which I still think is just no. We got 62 buildings, 60 population total, 41 workers. Not bad in the slightest. Sure, it costs us a lot in taxes every year, but oh well, what are you gonna do? And boy, all the, all the pregnancies. <laughs> it's just, uh so much. Now, as for what we'll do in whatever series we do next, I don't know, uh, but yeah, done with Medieval Dynasty, at least for the time being. You know, who knows? I may come back to it again. This is our third time here. I, I do quite like this game, but <laughs> nah, nah, we probably won't come back to it unless they release like another new map or something. Though, as for the map, my final thoughts on it, I prefer, I prefer the valley, honestly. The Oxbow has a lot less quests and a lot less things to do, it seems. So yeah, I think I preferred the valley. It was at least at the very at the very least nice to have a new map to build in. And I did like building this locale down here. It was quite nifty. But uh yeah, overall I think I do still prefer the valley. Hmm. But yeah, hopefully you all have enjoyed this series here and you come back for whatever it is we do next. But until that time, thank you for watching, my friends. And as always, we'll have a good one.